goes through the topic of how to buy real estate in Panama, the process and differences. So the process is different um, compared to North America, Canada, and the United States, specifically compared to Panama. So we'll go uh, through a few bullet points here. So how to buy real estate in Panama, what the differences are. First of all, there is no need to buy uh, to be a resident or citizen. Uh, anybody can buy the real estate. Process is different from the U.S. or Canada, though. Um, there is no official or mandatory escrow. That's a big difference. No official mandatory escrow system exists in Panama for real estate transactions, meaning when you buy, the money goes directly to the seller. Now, let's go through the process. Um, there is a five-step process. One is make formal offer non-binding agreement it's a non-binding agreement when the offer is made unlike um, in Canada or the United States uh, then the second step is promise to purchase so promise to purchase is uh, binding the buyer puts down normally 10% this is an unrefundable and seller uses these funds to pay off taxes for the property prior to the final step where the seller transfers the deed to the buyer at the notary, the seller must show that the taxes for the transfer of property have already been paid. That's the reason 10% of down payment is necessary. Otherwise, the seller will have to come out of pocket, which is not always possible. Uh, so these 10% uh, will go towards the transfer tax, which is around 2%, and the capital gains of 3%. Uh, it's five in total, but 10% is uh, the norm of down payment, and that's usually non-refundable. Uh, step number three, a final contract is signed at the notary. That's binding. The property hasn't been transferred yet. It can take uh, over a month, four to six weeks, uh, in my experience. But the money must be available from the buyer to the seller in a form of cashier's check or uh, irrevocable LC letter of credit. Uh, step number four, although the escrow is not mandatory in Panama, it is still possible, and a lot of people do it this way if they don't trust the, the seller. Uh, it can be done through a notary, attorney, lawyer, a realtor. Not all of them will agree to do it. Not all of them are set up to do it because the banks are very much finicky about uh, escrow accounts, uh, but that's up to the parties to decide. And the last step, once you sign everything at the notary, it goes to public registry, where the ownership actually gets transferred. Once public registry has it in their system, you are the owner. It doesn't matter whether you get the deed or not. As long as you can look it up the registry, you are the owner. And this process may take three to six weeks, sometimes longer if there are holidays involved, like in November. Uh, for extra fee of $350, uh, you can apply for an expedited process uh, of one week.